In this video I am going to explain you how to do some HTTP POST requests using Postman. I have previously introduced Postman in a video tutorial where I explained how to do HTTP GET requests and today we are going to advance to POST requests. Uh, as in the previous video we are going to use JSON Placeholder a uh, website that exposes a uh, fake uh, uh, REST API and to which we can do some HTTP requests. Uh, as you can see, this is an example of their user's endpoint, uh, which in the get uh, in a get uh, request returns us information about some uh, some users. It's a dummy structure just for the sake of exemplification. Uh, in our case, we are going to do an HTTP post. Uh, to this endpoint, it will not create anything in the um, in their database or whatever uh, is their method of exposing the the data, uh, but it will return an OK code, which is OK for us to test. So I'm going to copy this URL, and I'm going to fire Postman. Uh, I'm assuming that you have already installed it. If not, I will leave the links um, on how to do it in the in this video. So we are going to post here to sorry paste here the the endpoint the user's endpoint in uh, our http verb we are going to put the post because we are going to do a post request here in these separators we are going to open the body so we can specify the body of our request in this case i'm assuming that we are going to send some json content so in these radio buttons we, we have to choose raw and then we have here a drop down that allows us to uh, select a type of content of content so we choose json application slash json and i'm going to copy here i will leave it in the um, in the description of the video this is an example of a valid json content something very simple you do not need to match uh, the structure that they have in their website because it, uh, if you do a post, it will always return OK and a dummy answer with an ID, assuming that uh, uh, a new ID of a user was created. So as you can see, for example, if I delete here a bracket, uh, Postman will, uh, will show me an error indicated that uh, uh, this is invalid JSON, although I can still send the, um, uh, the request. I know that uh, it is not correctly formatted, so I'm going to reinsert a bracket. And now we just need to hit send. And here we go. Um, we get an answer and an ID stating that we have created uh, this structure in the website. Well, if we go to the website and redo our get request, I'm doing it via browser. So let me just okay refresh. As you can see, we don't have uh, we don't have a new a new ID because this is just a dummy endpoint, but uh, it allows us to test Postman. So this is it. Uh, it's a simple example. Uh, we have more content that we can send uh, through Post. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check my tutorial, Tech Tutorials X, and thank you.